Hello, hello, hello. Hey, everybody. This is Shirley with Sir's Crafty World.com. And today I am coming to you to show you a wonderful haul that I made because it is time for me to start getting my Valentine's Day stuff going. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. Mellow, that's, yep, yeah, that's Mellow, is it Mellow Plant? Hi, 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 everybody. It's good to see you guys. Sorry, I've been MIA life. Y'all know how that happens. <laughs> Bev. Oh, hey, Bev. How are you? Okay, so let me get started. Um, I bought some six, six slits. I love these candies. I grew up on these. And this is this cute little something to stick into um, my Valentine Crafty Friends bags. Uh... And then I picked up some glitter hearts. I, you know what? I am. I'm doing good. I, I still have my aches and pains. You know, my typicals. But I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. So we have these. Oh, I'm going to feel you could tell this dollar store. Look at all that glitter in the bottom of it. But yep, I got those. Yeah, those are pretty. Hey, it's better than me trying to glitter them myself, right? That's <laughs> Got some of those. And then I picked up these here. These are uh, like foam, but they're stickers. So, you see, there's stickers on the back. So, these would be pretty cool, too, to work with. I mean, I can see putting a little piece of bling in the middle or gluing some flowers along the side. I'm doing a lot of shabby chic, so that would be perfect. And then I picked up some... Um, goodie bags, treat bags. These are from also Dollar Tree. And I figured just the XOXO was good because um, you know, it's for my crafty friends. And then y'all know I do beading. Um, I do my dangles and my beaded pens and purse charms and so I needed some um Valentine's Day charms. So these are cool. We got these from Walmart. There's 14 in there. Yeah. Designs by me. I guess that's the Walmart brand. Hey, hey. And then um, I got these. These were at, um, isn't it funny? You bought 98 cents at um, <laughs> 98 cents at um, Walmart, right? It's funny because we go to the dollar store and we're like, oh, look at all this I got for a dollar. But then you go to Walmart and they got them for 98 cents. But you only get 24, you see. And I think the Wal the Dollar Tree ones has 60. So, yeah, see. The Dollar Tree ones have 60. And the Walmart ones have 24. So, you got to figure the difference, right? I don't mind paying that extra two cents for an extra, what, 50? No, an extra 40 pieces, you know? So, you got to do the math when you, you're like, oh, this is only 90 cents, but you get more from the Dollar Tree. So then I pick these up from the Dollar Tree as well. And what I'm going to do with these, there's eight of them in here, so I'll get four pockets. You see they have the little hearts there. You could totally take some yarn and go through those holes and sew it like halfway up and um, make heart pockets. Little heart pockets. These are cute for a little teacher gift or, you know, your nail tech, your beautician, you know. Yeah, they'll be cute. All you do is, and the holes is all, because I'm not a sewer, you guys. Me and sewing machine don't come near each other. So, these holes right here are big enough that I can t take some ribbon if I want, or just take some yarn, or even some baker's twine. Even take some baker's twine in between the holes of two, and then leave the top open so you have a little pocket, and you can put a little piece of candy in there, a little something, something, and a little something, something. And there, and for a dollar, you get to make four pockets. Yep, even a crochet hook would fit in there. You doggone right it would. That's a good idea, too. I crochet a little bit, like I could do one line. 
That's why I said a little bit. I can do one line. <laughs> so anyway, a lot of ideas with these felt hearts. And again, this is Dollar Tree. And you get eight of them. So that makes that would make four pockets. Turn a chain stitch. Ah, yes. I need to get back. You know, I did take home economics back in high school. I really did. But that was more cooking. No, I sewed a dress. That's right. We did sew a dress. Um, this is a bouquet of hearts on a stick. And there's five of them in there. There's two big ones. And some little ones. So I picked those up. You know what you could do with these too if you're talented. Because in this department I'm not. You can put a rosette behind it. And it'll look like um, a wand. You know. If you can make a rosette and glue it behind the heart, it'll just look like a heart on a rosette, and that would be perfect. Now, the ones on the back are a little bigger, so you'll have to make a, ra a rather larger rosette. Or, if you want to cheat, like I do, use a cupcake liner. I need to get there for some swap stuff. Yeah, me too. Um, and I'm getting ready for my birthday um, challenge giveaway for in February, because my birthday's on Valentine's Day. Yeah. And that's, I mean, it's a good way to get stuff done inexpensively. You know, this one, again, this this one's a harder, these are harder and bigger. Oh, and there's some small ones, too. I don't know if you can see the pink ones are smaller. And then some red ones. And how many is in here? There's ten, so you probably got five of each one. You have a, a wedding. Oh, now's the time to get all the love, love stuff. If you have a, um... A Hobby Lobby near you, Hobby Lobby, it's good, but if you got to be real talented, you can do stuff at Dollar Tree, but Hobby Lobby has an awesome um, wedding section. I picked these up, I thought these were gorgeous, it's a different color, it's not red, but they're still nice, this would make a nice choker, or a nice pendant on a, um, on a necklace, because it's different. You know, yeah, it doesn't have to be Valentine's. Oh man, even the, I didn't even notice that these right here are also hearts. Little copper see through her. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. I saw that. I was like, how did they grab that? Planner charm? Yes. I like the little ones because the little ones would be good for a TN. And the bigger ones could go on a larger planner. And I like the little, um, these little square things, the spacers are cute too. So yeah, I got that one, and I got this one. This one's really nice too, and it came with three strands, and they're they're more red, and I like the um, you see the the, I guess you call it a spacer. It's real fancy. You so fancy. I'm holding it with my right hand, which tends to get in the light. Let me let me see if I can switch here. So that you can see it better. Maybe if I lay it down. Okay, there it is. <laughs> yeah. And for three strands, for I think it was $3.97. You know how Walmart prices is. They they do them weird prices. <laughs> it's not $3.99, it's $3.97. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then I got some of these mini pens from um, Dollar Tree. The ball ballpoint pens. There's a 12 pack. So I mean, you can put those in there. Falling prices. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> Look, with this government shutdown, I don't know how much longer that's gonna last, right? I got this into these. These these actually came from Amazon. Just came in today. Um, so um, I don't have ephemera, you guys. That's what I should do with ephemera. You racked up today. I did. I did, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but, um, and then the last I have is these, um, stickers. These were at, um, Walmart. You know, the infamous 98 cents. <laughs> so these are cute. I thought these would be cute for, um, cards and stuff like that. I also have a granddaughter. Do I have her pillow? I may have put her pillow. We got her a heart shaped pillow, a purple one. Is that everything? Hold on, you guys. I got so much stuff here. Oh, one more thing. These I got at Walmart also. But do you see how that paper, it's like a shimmery. 
I think they call it metallic. Y'all see that? Oh, and there's a purple one. Oh, <gasps> y'all know I love purple. Look at that. It's like a metallic. So that's real pretty, too. You could glitter up the edges, you know, kind of like how they do salting. Glitter up the edges or the fact that it already has metallic on it is real pretty. I think the back is plain. The back is kind of plain, but... Oh, man, that purple one in there is good. Let me see if I can... Woo! Almost dropped, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for the hearts. I was trying to get the purple one out a little more. So you can... Oh, there it is. Woo, look at her! Y'all know I love my purple. That's gorgeous. So anyway, yes, I really get into Valentine's because it is my birthday. And... Um, and then I also picked these up, you guys, because I'm always about trying. These are clings, window clings, but I won't be putting them on my window. I'll be using them to craft with because if they're kind of flimsy, but you can always put them on a piece of cardstock and use them on the front of a package. No poke a hole in there. It is a nice holiday. I think so. All we need is love. Da -da -da -da. All we need is love, love, love is all we need. <laughs> I'm dating myself now. <laughs> I think this world could use a little love right now. There's a whole lot of hate and I'm offended and I don't like the way you look and I don't like the way you think and I don't like the way you believe and oh, can't we all just get along? And if you agree to disagree and keep it pushing, <sighs> Come on, preaching. <laughs> hey, you guys, that's right. Speaking of preaching, I started a new YouTube channel. It's called Kingdom Love, the number four and the letter U. So Kingdom Love for you. I do daily devotionals on there, and I'm still doing my BED series, which is Blessed, Educated, and Disabled. So I love you guys. Yes, yes. Go check it out. Kingdom Love for you. And um, trying to be, uh, I'm trying to be productive in my disability. Um, I have my challenges, but I'm not going to dwell on them because my challenges are what make me. So thank you so much for sending the love. I really appreciate it. I think I have showed you guys everything. Oh, well, Mr. Bob, he's such a sweetie. He picked me up a journal. This is from Walgreens. <laughs> Walgreens has a special. It was buy one, get one 50% off. So he picked me up a journal. They didn't have purple. But that's okay. I like the spiral because I can fold it back, you know, while I'm writing. Um, I am doing a lot of writing because I was keeping a lot of stuff inside, you guys. And all it did was to make me depressed. And so I'm learning to uh, write my thoughts down. I mean, it's been now January 14 to be five years since I had cancer and cancer surgery and cancer treatment. And and I mean, it really takes a lot on you. It really does. Um, it just to me, I felt like the rug was pulled out from under me. I didn't know what to do with my life anymore or if if I should even try so yeah I'm going to write about it because I plan on writing a book anyway to encourage somebody else who gets blindsided by cancer it's no fun you know and then the treatment kicks your tail again but they convince you that you got to do it because you got to kill this one thing in your body so it gets to be tricky you know well, so the treatment was to kill the cancer which it did but it left me with a whole host of other problems, which is where I am today. So, um, Mr. Bob has been a great caregiver for me, helping me and stuff like that. But it really, you know, I'm young. He's the older one. I'm young. I should be taking care of him, not him having to take care of me. Even though we took those vows that he always reminds me of. But still, you guys know, he is a good man. He's a great man. And, um, but I want to get him some relief. I don't want him getting old and bitter because he's been taking care of me. That I don't want. I want him to be able to go out and do something he wants to do. 
um, and not have to worry about, oh, Cheryl, I got to take care of Cheryl. Cheryl needs help doing this or Cheryl needs help doing that. And it works. It works on my ego, too. You know, that I have to get his help just to get out of bed and make it to the bathroom. You know, and then sometimes I'm crying and screaming with every step. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know he does. I know he does. I know this is this is my making. This, yeah. And that my problems are not bigger than my purpose. So... All right, you guys, it's been nice visiting with you. I hope you all have a blessed weekend, and we'll see you soon. And don't forget to come see me at Kingdom Love For You on uh, YouTube. Hugs. Bye for now. Be blessed.